hello and welcome back to this channel in today's video we want to continue our lesson on differential equations we are going to talk about the quotient rule now the quotient rule is a method for differentiating problems where one function is divided by another function now given that y is a function of x and y is equal to u divided by v then the derivative of y with respect to x is given by v times du dx minus u times dv dx all divided by v squared so if you have a function y equals u divided by v you want to find the derivative of that function then you have v times du dx minus u times dv dx all divided by v squared so now let's take some examples so for example one given that y is equal to 2x minus 3 divided by x minus 5 we are going to find dy dx now because we have one function divided by the other we are going to use the quotient rule so let's write down the formula for the quotient rule so according to the quotient rule we know that dy dx is equal to v times du dx minus u times dv dx all divided by v squared now from this equation we say that let u be the numerator okay so we have 2x minus 3 and then let v be the denominator that is x minus 5 okay now we have u and then we have v so let's find du dx and then dv dx so the u dx means that we are going to find the derivative of u with respect to x now we have u to be 2x minus 3 so when you differentiate 2x minus 3 with respect to x you have 2 now when you differentiate 2x you have 2 and then when you differentiate negative 3 which is a constant you have 0 so we have the u dx to be 2 and then dv dx is 1 when you differentiate x you have 1 when you differentiate negative 5 you have 0 so now that we have the u dx and then dv dx we can find dy dx so dy dx is equal to v times the u dx we have v to be x minus 5 so we write x minus 5 times the u dx which is 2 minus u we have u to be 2x minus 3 times dv dx which is 1 so this all divided by v squared v is x minus 5 so we have x minus 5 squared now let's simplify so 2 times x is 2x 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 and then negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3 1 times what's in the bracket does not make any difference so 2x and then negative 2x goes away we have negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7 so we have negative 7 divided by x minus 5 all square so basically this is how to find the derivative of a function using the quotient rule whenever you have a function divided by another function where you cannot easily cancel out the terms then you want to consider using the quotient rule now let's solve our second example now to the second question we are to find dy dx given that y is equal to x square minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 
so to find the derivative of this function dy dx first of all let's write down the expression the equation for the quotient rule so dy dx is equal to v times du dx minus u times dv dx divided by v square now let u equals x square minus 1 and let v equals 2x square plus 1 so next we are going to find du dx and then dv dx so du dx is equal to when you differentiate x square you have 2x when you differentiate negative 1 you have 0 when you differentiate 2x square you get 4x and then when you differentiate 1 you get 0 so we have du dx as 2x dv dx as vx now let's substitute these expressions into this formula so v times du dx this is v so that is 2x square plus 1 times du dx which is 2x minus u u is x square minus 1 times dv dx which is 4x all divided by v square so v is 2x square plus 1 now 2x times 2x square is 4x cube and then 2x times 1 is 2x negative x square times 4x is negative 4x cube and then negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 so 1 times 4x is 4x Four x cube cancels out negative four x cube. We have two x plus four x, which is six x. So six x divided by two x square plus one, or squared. Now let's try the third example. So for the third example, if y is equal to one plus x divided by one minus x squared find dy dx so we say let u equals 1 plus x and then v equals 1 minus x squared so we say du dx is equal to when you differentiate 1 you get 0 when you differentiate x you get 1 When you differentiate 1, you have 0. When you differentiate negative x squared, you have negative 2x. Now we know that dy dx is equal to v times du dx minus u times dv dx all divided by v squared. So we have v which is 1 minus x square times du dx which is 1 minus u u is 1 plus x times dv dx which is negative 2x all divided by v square so 1 times 1 minus x square is still 1 minus x square negative 2x times 1 is negative 2x negative 2x times x is negative 2x square v is 1 minus x square so we say that 1 minus x square all square now let's simplify we have 1 minus x square negative 1 times negative 2x is 
2x negative 1 times negative 2x squared is 2x squared. Negative x squared plus 2x squared is x squared. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 divided by 1 minus x squared or squared. So now let's simplify this expression. x squared plus 2x plus 1. The coefficient of the x squared term is 1. And the coefficient of the constant term is 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. Now we need to find two numbers that multiply to give you 1. And then when you add them up, you get 2. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So it means that this expression can be simplified as x plus 1, x plus 1. Now x plus 1 is the same as 1 plus x. And since we have two of them, we are going to write 1 plus x all squared divided by 1 minus x squared all squared. So we can simplify this expression as dy dx is equal to. Now according to indices, a exponent n divided by b exponent n is the same as a over b all exponents n. So in this case, dy dx is equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x squared all squared. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.